Let's see how to use Curator to detect phishing. This is another use case created by Chris Hankin from Dallas. User education is very important. You should keep your employees uh, up to speed and make sure that they don't fall for easy kind of phishing. But user education is not enough. Let me give you a case where the names have been uh, changed. We have a salesman called Frank Sanchez who works for a company that I will call here Acme. And that is the target of a particular group of hackers who wants to get a machine with access to the Acme intranet. Well, the hackers know that he lives in Nashville. And why they know that and a few other things? Well, because Frank is has a profile in LinkedIn where he puts a lot of information to make himself known to his potential customers. The hackers know that there is a company that builds uh, very good and highly reliable uh, electrical motors in the Nashville area called RMI. And they assume that this company is one of Frank's customers. So at the end of a quarter, they send a message to Frank that appears to come from RMI and the subject read process. This purchase order SAAP. And not only they hacker ha uh, guessed correctly that this was one of Frank's account, but also Frank was having a very tough quarter because all the deals that he had has slept to the next quarter. So don't you think Frank is going to click on that uh, link that contains a malformed PDF that will install malware on his machine? Some people will argue that if Frank doesn't click on that uh, PDF, he's not a good salesman. So let's see how we can uh, detect these type of cases uh, using nothing more than Curera. So we're going to be replaying some logs that we collected from a mail system, actually it's a positive uh, Linux uh, mail system, and we're going to replay those into um, into Curator. There are two ways of identifying phishing attempts by looking at the logs uh, from the mail server, and this is the Acme uh, mail server logs. And one is by uh, f the phishing IPs of known uh, people sending uh, phishing campaigns. But if you are the target of a campaign that has been launched from a IP that is clean, meaning that it's not going to be in any one of those IPs, uh, then your only option is probably to look at the subject line that exists uh, on, on that uh, phishing email. And the Curator X4 Exchange in the, uh, has an application, a package called RFISI content that precisely puts several things on your curator system. One is a reference set that is called phishing senders. Another reference set that is called precisely phishing subjects and, uh, and several rules. Let's take a look at uh, one of those rules. So I'm here in the Offenses tab and click on the Rules link and I'm going to look for the rules that start with 
RF ISI. So I go here into this section here and look for those rules and these are the rules that came with that application that was added uh, to this uh, curator instance. And this is that rule. Let's take a look at the syntax of it. And basically it is saying when the IP is one of my mail servers and you need to make sure that you your mail uh, server uh, IP address is in that uh, building block. Uh, and when the source IP is contained on the reference set called phishing senders IP. So let's actually go and look at that uh, reference set. So I'm here on the admin tab and on the reference set I'm going to look here for everything that is phishing and I see phishing senders and in this particular case I actually manually added the IP address of that mail server that the IP that where the email has been sent actually that is part of that particular campaign. More on, 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 on that in a second. But all, I also have another reference set, phishing subject, which has the actual text that will appear in the subject line that is part of the logs that reads something similar. And I have three things in here uh, which are variation of the thing of the same thing but because those emails will typically will have uh, kind of a syntax errors or changes uh, that are meant to uh, fool any phishing filter you may have on your mail server that should be your first line of defense on this so where do you get the data from this well there are several sources for that one can be fish tank where you can actually get those uh, list of uh, of uh, IP addresses and, and subject lines and there are other sites like um, is it phishing.com that actually differing uh, companies uh, provide uh, you know as, as soon as they know about a particular campaign they provide that information so one way or the other you, you, you need to have your those two reference set populated with the IPs of the bad guys and the subject that typically will be used for that. Again, this is not easy to have a protection against this, but this is how Curator can help in case your email filtering fails to actually capture those messages and, and, and Frank actually gets to uh, receive and click on one of those emails. And the other rule that we are actually using, and we can actually see it in here, uh, we actually added this one, it's, it's actually very simple. When in any of the message subject, and we extracted those, the, the subject field from the, from the logs, and uh, that that's had been shown in, 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 in many examples, how you extract properties from the actual logs. So when that subject that we extracted uh, is contained on any one of the reference set that I just show you about uh, the phishing subject. What we're going to be doing next is actually replay these uh, logs that actually came from the Acme uh, mail server in which there is the interaction of Frank receiving the email, Frank clicking in the, in the email and, and, and all that. So let's see how these uh, rules uh, help us locate that. And here is the content of the actual uh, script that we're going to be running, that uh, phishing, uh, phishing uh, script. So we are here in the offenses, we have clear all the offenses, we don't have anyone in there and we go to the log activity and we actually invoke that replays of the actual log. So let's go back to the console and we see those messages being actually uh, played in here. 
and we 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 will see that uh, our offense uh, should actually be firing. And while the offenses are being, uh, uh, the events are being correlated and the offense will fire, I want to show you that uh, this uh, rule, the first one and the second rule, uh, I'm indexing them by uh, destination IP. So both rules, because I have the IP address of the offending uh, the, the e, uh, IP that, that send the email as, as well as the subject, they should be combined into a single offense because I'm indexing them by the destination IP, which is Frank's uh, Frank's uh, Frank's machine right here, 10.64.2.30. Sure enough, we have that offense actually triggering. So let's actually look at it. So those are the logs that were actually replayed. That's the machine that sent the email campaign, which is in our uh, reference set. Uh, the rules that actually contributed for, to this offense, let's display them here. They should be, that's just one of the offenses. Well, let me actually wait a little bit longer, because maybe I went too quick and, and the two rules have not been processed already. It's actually... Play the yeah, I saw more more events there. So oh yeah, and there we are. We see the the both rule the one that came on the package and the one that we created actually triggering and contributing both to an offense that indicates that Frank uh, has uh, been the target and uh, of this uh, phishing email. It's actually look at the events in here and see if we can see some of the things that actually happened that the system processed. For example, take a look at uh, this one here that reads mail open. And we actually see that, you know, that Frank actually opened an email on the phishing attempt. So we can actually determine, yeah, Frank actually not only was the target of a subject uh, of a phishing email, but actually he did uh, click on it. And we can actually, you know, help uh, Frank uh, to, to some training, perform some actions, uh, go into the forensic piece if you have it and determine the scope and where all the other all things that he did and all that good stuff. But this is a one way that uh, Curator can help you uh, detect phishing uh, attempts and all you need to do is uh, install that package and trim it uh, and customize it uh, to your uh, particular environment.